6, a continuous random variable x is normally distributed with a mean of this one, so mean and a standard deviation of this one. So, here is given that mean is 0 0.75. So, we have x is larger than 0 0.69 is equal to 0 0.5178. So, we see here normally distributed mean that we can find from the table because we have the z score. But see here, so when we have the normal distribution graph, so this one is supposed to be symmetrical, okay? Don't really trust my drawing, so this one is supposed to be, okay, I might just pull it. Okay, so here we can see that this area is 0 0.5, this one is 0 0.5, it is symmetrical and the area under the curve is supposed to be 1. So we see here 0 0.5178. So that means it's larger than 0 0.5. So you see, when larger than 0 0.5, it means it occupies two area. And you can see the symbol is larger. So larger and can occupy two area, it must be from here. Because if this one is the value of, if I just put negative k here, so we can see that this one is 0 0.5 and this is the only way it can fit into area. But then, from your table, you can only find from z is larger than 0. So, we know that this one and this one is the same. Right? Because it is symmetrical. So, we can see that this area. So, we see here P, z is larger than negative k is equal to 1 minus probability z is larger than k. So, you see here, larger than negative k is equal to 1 minus this one. Where, here we know that this one, which is this one is equal to this one. So, property z is larger than k. Here, if I want to find this one, we change place. 1 minus probability of z is larger than negative k, which is equal to 1 minus. So, z is larger than negative k is 0 0.5178. So, here we get 0 0.4822. So, here we can find it from the table. So, 0 0.4822, you see here it's going down. So, 4822, you see here this one is 4840. This one is smaller, so no. So, this one is the value that we want. This one is the one. So, we need to know how much to minus. 0 0.4840 minus 0 0.4822. So, here we are going to get. Zero point zero zero one eight, so eighteen. So we see here eighteen. So this one is sixteen. This one is twenty. So eighteen is basically in the midpoint. So this one is forty five. So now I just make a table. So now we can find the z score. So from this table, so we go to the left. It is zero point zero. So here zero point zero, and then up here is four, and then you see here this one is. 4, 5. So, 0 0.0445. So, this one is 0 0.0445. This one is the value of k. But we know this one is negative k. So, this value is negative 0 0.0445. So, I just write it here. K is equal to negative 0 0.0445. So, here we know that Z is equal to X minus mean divided by standard deviation. So, we know that our Z is the value of K which is 0 0.0445 is equal to. So, this is our value of X which is 0 0.69 minus our mean is 0 0.75 divided by standard deviation. So, our standard deviation is equal to, so here we change place. So, 0 0.69 minus 0 0.75, we get negative 0 0.06. Divided by negative 0 0.0445. So, here we get 1.348. So, here we get, so 
So we see here from the textbook is using negative 0.6. This one is not using 0.445 directly use 0.045. So here you will get 1.33 but this one is actually the same because the calculation is equal and the value is almost the same. So that's why. So this is our mean.